What's up, everyone? This is Panda. And here's an update on this wagon. It broke last night. This is where it broke. And here's the joint. And here's the joint that broke. It always breaks at the bottom of these uh, wheels when it turns. It never breaks. Well, it does break over there. But most of the time, I notice with all the wagons I have purchased, it always breaks at the joint where it houses or the housing for the wheel. It always breaks there because, guys, this is still a good wagon. It's made out of metal, but this is not made out of metal. It's made out of aluminum, and it's not strong enough or thick enough. How it broke last night? Uh, going over that. Wait, wait, wait. Let me. You see the pavement, the bumps? You see how the streets sometimes are uneven, the pavement? That's how it broke. Just going up and it just came off. It literally just said, oh, I want to leave. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I have a temporary fix, but it's not holding up. Uh, it's a nuisance to push it now, and it doesn't turn. So if I try to turn it, yeah, this turns, the housing turns, like it should, but it's not turning like it normally should turn, if that makes sense. But anyway, uh, yeah, so the wagon, on the other hand, is very good. Uh, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of stuff in here. Got my skates, got my camera gear. I'm getting rid of camera gear, guys. If you want it, I'm selling it, all of it. Uh, I got the gimbal, selling that too. If you guys want it, it's a Zion Crane 2. I'm selling it for $130, $140. Bucks. Uh, still in excellent condition. Actually, in pristine condition <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm getting rid of all this stuff because now you know to my camera's broken and uh, still haven't got that kind of fixed at the moment but I wanted to show you how this broke last night and this is what I did so this is a U bracket as you can see it's come all the way over under but when we start rolling it it's a problem it's straight but I can't turn it you see I can't turn it because this wheel drags and it starts to force the housing to turn so yeah it's a temporary fix so I don't know I don't know what to say I all I want to do I know I can fix this wagon it's possible guys if I can forge one of these from a metal, not aluminum, and make the exact same one and drill a hole so this can go on top and then solder it onto that, I can make this work. I can literally make this work or have a different type of base for that. Instead of solderant, you are going to put something inside. I don't know. I have a whole bunch of ideas. But yeah, the wagon broke. And I am trying to figure out is this a good thing for me or a bad thing? Because right now, <laughs> this is a bad thing because we are in New York City. And uh, yeah, and um, it's early in the morning. And I've been up all night trying to fix this, guys. I literally been up all night trying to fix it and came up with. A temporary solution but literally the, the brand you can't use aluminum for the joints for the wheels that's gonna break easily and I do not recommend it guys I do not recommend pushing it from the back push it from the front this is the front that's the back if you push it from the back and you pushing it yeah, you're going to run into holes where it's going to break this. So, I don't know what to say. 
my wagon broke. I don't know, it, guys. I, I swear to you. I swear. I I don't make this up. I just got really bad luck. I literally have bad luck all the time, and most of the time, it's not even my fault. I'm just going out about my day, and things happen. So, I just wanted to share this experience with you guys that my uh, my special wagon broke, but I temporarily fixed it for now. But I don't know. I think I can forge another piece like this, or go to a hardware store when I already have one av- available, and just drill some holes on both sides like this, and mount it on without mount it on without without soldering it on because I I, I don't have a soldering tool. I really don't have a soldering tool. Oh, my panda. So, FYI, guys, this is still a good wagon. Nothing else broke but the joint. So, I'm going to keep the joint. I have an extra... Uh... Oh, my panda. Got an extra U-bracket. I might have to use for that one, because that one's also breaking as well. Because it's slightly bent. It's like bent like this. See what my hand is? It's like bent just like that. It's supposed to be straight, not bent like this. Straight, not bent like this. This is why I have this, to do the exact same thing that I did with this. You see how that works. <clears throat> yeah, these are not cheap. These are like, what, four bucks? This is a U-bolt. This is one fourth over four yeah. Three fifteenths? Yeah. I don't know, guys. I'm just have bad luck. And my birthday's coming up. What am I going to do for my 41st? 41st, that's right. 41st birthday. Can someone buy me a new wagon? I really like these wheels. These wheels are really holding up on the streets. So, yeah. Definitely keeping these wheels if this wagon breaks. <laughs> Seriously, because these wheels are really holding up. I should have took my, I, sh- I should never left my other wagon at that guy's house in Milwaukee. So with that said, everyone, uh, please, if you guys want to help out with the new wagon, uh, it is possible here in New York, I can get the wagon sent to some fellow rollerblader to help me out. But uh, if you guys want to help out with the wagon replacement, it's a PayPal, Cash App, and then Venmo. You see how these delivery drivers don't obey the law of the streets? Oh, my panda. This is why you guys get hit and get into accidents. But anyway, uh, yeah, so this broke. I have to fix it. Lucky I'm smart enough to know how to fix stuff. So, but yeah. Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are having a better Saturday and a better weekend than I am. I'm having such a bad weekend. Got food poison last night from this place. Why won't it zoom? Oh, my panda. It won't zoom. Oh, my panda, it won't zoom. There we go. I got sick. I had a salad from this place last night, and wow, I kept throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. So I'm about to go over there and let them know, like, hey, your salad, I cannot smell and taste, but my stomach did not agree with it, and I threw the rest of it away. I threw 70% of that shit away, and then I started throwing up. You can check my Instagram, because it's on my Instagram, when I started throwing up. But yeah, another hot day. And uh, I'm about to go across the street to talk with them about the food because, uh, yeah, I'm letting them know that I'm a vegan and that wasn't a vegan salad. Uh, it was a vegan salad, but it was, it, I don't know what was going on. It could have been contaminated. I don't know. But yeah, my stomach immediately did not want to accept it. So, with that said, everyone. 
We are on Broadway in Manhattan. We are about to go across the street to get a bottle of water because uh, I've been throwing up. And this this cleaning guy kept saying, no, this guy, well, his other guy, his other friend, or her other friend, kept saying, hey, man, you got to clean that up. I'm like, how am I supposed to clean the fucking vomit off the ground? G- g- give me give me the tools because I threw up on that side. So <laughs> how do you expect me to freaking, oh, my panda, people litter so much. Nasty. Anyway. So let's try to push this across the street. So I got all of this to carry on my on my back. Then I got this to carry it. I'll try to maintain to carry it. It on my hand up. So with that said, everyone, thank you for watching. I'm sorry to give you bad news about my wagon, but uh, just try to put this on my back right now. Ah, so much weight. So much weight in this. See, I need to get one of those. Because those look like they hold up better. <laughs> when it comes down to the joints, yeah, if you guys want to see the joint again, where is that? Oh, my panda. Here's the joint. How it broke off. And it broke off at the housing on this. All the time. This is why I'm, I'm, I don't understand. Why would you use aluminum, but you use metal for everything else? 90%, 95% of everything else is metal. The other 5% is aluminum in some places, right? 2% is plastic. Like this is plastic. This is aluminum, this is metal, this is plastic. But to use aluminum, uh, yeah, not a very uh, good idea. So you guys want to help out with a new wagon? Uh, I really appreciate it. We're going to try to get the same wagon. All right, let's try to get this on my back. Oh my panda, I'm so tired, I'm so sweaty, I'm so hungry. I know I'm hungry because I threw up and I need to get some water. So, welcome to the city guys on a very hot, miserable day. Yeah, the guy in the store yesterday said, hey, this is my third time seeing you. He's like, you don't get exhausted from carrying us? I do, I have asthma. And that's the problem with this hot weather. I'm pumping my asthma pump so many times, and I got a new one. And I'm already down to, what, uh, 68 uh, pumps? I pumped to, like, what, 10 times yesterday? I know, that's excessive. I know, super excessive. But, guys, I can't. It's too much. <laughs> I'm not... 20 years old anymore. I'm 40. I will be 41 in less than like 25 days. So August 10th, guys, is my birthday. August 10th. I'm sorry that this video is converted and then portrait mode. I, I I really am not feeling the best, and this is why I'm sitting a lot because I feel sick, and I need water. And here's a problem. There's no drinking water. Oh, my panda. Someone asked me yesterday, why don't I go check into a homeless shelter? And I was like, no. Because but once I check in the homeless shelter or some sort of programs that help me for temporary, I was like, no. Why would I do that? I, that doesn't make sense. It's like... And I have to explain to the person why that is. And then when I explain to the person, like, yeah, this city will use my name for 10 years <laughs> when I don't even live here. That's, that's how some organizations get away with stealing money, grant money from the government. They report that I'm staying inside a facility, which I'm not. They don't check me out. They don't exit me out the system. They don't do any of that. Like porch lighting, they don't do any of that. You have to, 
you have to call them and request it from them. Like, hey, you guys been using my name and stuff like that for a couple of years now. I haven't used your system in years. I came by there one time to see what you guys have to offer. You guys are getting grant money because of my social security, my name. <coughs> yeah. But anyway. <clears throat> Let's go across the street. Let's go deal with these guys. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.